Like the smoke. Getting back in the gym. I mean, I wasn't doing the whole summer working out, but just getting back with the team, just practicing. Uh, guys wanted to show they're being competitive, so it's fun. Have you had a chance to, to get to play with some of these younger guys, not just the rookies, but the guys that were playing in the summer league and that were practicing here all, all summer? I have. Uh, when I came back after the year, just like, I don't came back here, and we played the open gym one day and I had a chance to play with them. Nick Jock said that the confidence and the aggressiveness that you played with down the stretch last year, that's, what, that's the way they want you to play this year. Is your mindset you know, to be more aggressive, be more assertive on the court? Oh, yes, uh, of course. I think the way I finished like, last year, I think that's a great weapon to have in the locker room. Uh, I think we can get better every day. Uh, I think you said you were going to spend your summer working on post moves. How far were you better on the post? I think I've gotten better. I worked a lot on those. Uh, way to attack, way to attack more aggressively. Uh, I've had you know, a whole month of training camp to work on it more. And once the season we'll starts, just keep working at it and uh, you know, just trying to improvise in the game. What did you learn or take away from uh, your basketball this year? As on defense, yeah. On either end, just what, what did you take away from? Oh, what did you uh, learn about yourself and about oh, your so, game uh, about, from playing the Being a summertime, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of already know myself. I kind of know what I need to do better, what, I, what I'm good at. Just, so I'm just trying to get better at everything and uh, stuff that I didn't do will actually improve it. Nick, you say you already know yourself. The games against Miami towards the tail end of the season, you had huge rebounding games. What caused those games, and what can you keep doing to try to have a, a better rebounding year this year? Uh, just uh, staying aggressive on the glass. I mean, I'm always going to be around the paint. I mean, that's my position. That's where I'm at my best. So just staying aggressive, keep pointing it, and then you know, I think it helps to have a good feeling with the pretty game and kind of know where the ball might bounce. But just keep pointing it, keep going after it. It's really no secret. A lot of young guys, yourself included, when you were in, in Europe, you were here working out. Can you sense a hunger among the young guys? I and mean, a lot of them are back in the gym two weeks after the season. Yeah, definitely. I know guys really uh, work hard this summer. They really want to get better. They want to improve. And I think you know, that's really the only way to success. You've got to work. Uh, there's no other way to it. Uh, I mean, I was back in the gym two weeks after we're done with the season. So really the only way to get better is to improve. Uh, really every guy in the team, really want, not only us, the younger guys, but the older guys. They're really working hard. And, uh, better and that's great for us. How much more comfortable are you at this time now than you were a year ago being this being your second year with this franchise? I'm a lot more comfortable. I know I've been here already for a year so I kinda know the whole system how it works since last year where everything was new for me. And uh, I just feel more confident, feel more comfortable. I mean I know the guys know how the coach works, what he wants, so it'd be a lot easier for me to get into training camp and do everything. Nick, with this young team, and a lot of people already counting you guys out, is are the playoffs a possibility? Can you guys be in the conversation late in the season? Uh, we just want to uh, be, be the best team that we can be, you know, get better every game, every practice, just give our best and uh, try to win as many games as we can. Nick, what do you think you... Oh, go ahead. I think it was Doug Collins who said you just needed confidence in yourself. And he wasn't surprised by what you did last year. Now that you've had a full season where you showed Pretty much what you can do that. How do you add up to the uh, to do something this year? Or build on it? Uh, just, just do better than last year. Uh, no, just uh, keep playing. Just uh, do what I did the whole summer to improve. Uh, just work, keep working on those areas and just try to them in the game. So I think as I get older, as I get more experience, as I get more years in the year, I'll get better by that too. But just by working hard. It just comes automatically. Just become a better player, and obviously, me being more confident and believing myself more, to make myself my entire body in the court. And I want to do what I've done this whole summer to throw it on the court. How would you evaluate your Euro basket with Montenegro? It seems like you're, you're limited a little bit in minutes played. There are rumors that you might have been ill there. I, mean, uh, I wasn't in at all. I was. Ready to go. I was in good shape. I was. Everything was good. It was just coach's decision. I don't want to go into that. I don't know why. What's the reason? To uh, be honest, I was kind of disappointed because I really wanted there, wanting to help my team, and I felt like we had a good team to make. 
uh, been around in the Euro, uh, the way our group was, we really anybody could beat anybody. And uh, I felt like what I feel is if he would have let me play more, I feel like it would have been better for our team as well. And I don't want to sound cocky, I think it was just I think that's the way it is. And, uh, I was a little disappointed the way things worked out. I don't know the reason he didn't really believe in myself or me or didn't let me play more, but that's past me now. I'm really looking forward to the season. It wasn't that long ago that you were a rookie in this league. What's the best piece of advice you can give to a rookie as he pre prepares to start off? Uh, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, really just, uh, just to keep playing his game, you know. So many stuff to impress people and do stuff that you don't really do well. Just you're here for a reason. Everybody knows what your strengths are. So just keep doing that. Play hard. And uh, one thing that's important: uh, work hard and uh, practice. Come early, leave late. And it's just the way you should be. It's not really easy. You just listen to the vets. And if the vet gives you a rookie duty, do it. You don't want to be looking for your shoe around your ear. So when they hide it. Nick, you seem to be a goal-oriented person. What goal would you? Did you set for yourself this season that you didn't have necessarily for last season? Um, I don't really set a personal goal really like that. I kind of want to just do my best to help the team win. I'm really a team-oriented guy, very selfish guy, and I really just kind of try to do whatever I can to help the team win. Uh, I said I want to improve on the areas I wasn't very good at last year, or even if the stuff I was good didn't get better. That's really my only goal, just get better. and. Uh, Team better. Nick, throughout last year, there was uh, times where you told us that your, your dad would give you phone calls and give you critiques and your stuff. Um, did, did you did you talk to him over the summer about your whole season in general? And did he give you any constructive criticism? Oh yeah, uh, we talked a lot about last season and uh, season to come. And while I was working out there, he would watch my workouts and he would tell me what I can do better. I mean, because I feel like you know, he knows I'm kind of the best. He, he's my dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, he was also my coach for like four years, so he kind of taught me everything about the game, and uh, so it really helps a lot when he critiques me, and uh, he's always honest with me. Sometimes he tells me, you suck today, and I'm like, okay. You know? <laughs> but, you know, it helps me a lot. I mean, we talk a lot, we watch a lot of uh, film, a lot of uh, games, and also a lot of different uh, players, like a lot of games from different teams, and uh, it's a huge Nick, what do you think Everyone you got to good? do to um, improve as a rim protector this season? Uh, just being a little more aggressive. Uh, I think I get in the right spots for the most part, and uh, my timing's pretty good. Just being a little more aggressive, just doing like getting at the rim and try to if not block the shot, contest it, make it hard for the guard or whoever's going to the paint to make it. So that's really. Can you okay. stack the word? What the hell is that? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> good. Thanks, right. Thanks, Thanks, Nick. Josh.